Two crazy things have happened since the boulders have started. We have completed the thing that we've been wanting to complete for a year. I feel overwhelmed. I am a little bit in disbelief that I'm actually potentially filming this video intro at this point. <laughs> if you have been a subscriber of the channel for a while, then you will know that I have now said we are having the wall taken down soon. Probably like <laughs> eight times. This wall's gonna go, so don't get too attached to this wall. <laughs> and it's just never happened. I have been hurt by builders too many times and I have no trust in them whatsoever. A builder is apparently coming in like the next 15, 20 minutes to actually get started on taking down the wall. Do I believe it? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm very, very hopeful that this is real, but I think that like our experience of how flaky builders are is definitely making me not get too excited. <laughs> but I mean, I'm filming the video intro, so clearly Clearly, I feel like maybe this is happening. As high as he does. Yeah. Hello. Oh, you're beautiful, aren't you? Oh, come on in. Move that teapot. <laughs> He's actually here. Yeah. This is real. It's happening. things have happened since the boulders have started. First one is the haunted <laughs> the haunted words like Dan Dan and Piggy Amber. Um, turns out one of the builders literally used to live in like the the sem like we're semi-detached and in like the detached house that's where one of the builders used to live as a kid and so like he knows Dan Dan he knows Dan and Amber <laughs> like it's so mental and then the second crazy thing is that they've opened up the doorway that used to be in between the kitchen and the living room and so I've just like seen for the first time like how much more light is actually going to get into the space and it's absolutely bananas it's I can't even I'm so excited I'm so excited It's not for a lot of people, but I am not an early riser. <laughs> it's like 20 past seven, but I have forced myself out of bed for you guys and you guys alone because the builders are gonna be here in like 20 minutes. Oh my Christ. And I just had to get some, I just had to get some videos to show you what they've done. Oh my God, look at what they've done. They've removed all the ceiling from where the beam's gonna go and they've put these like massive supports in which are basically gonna hold up like at the upstairs floor while they take this wall out today. Um, and we uncovered a doorway here um, which we think was like semi boarded up to become a service hatch. So like initially it looked like a service hatch and then it just was a door. And then we also found out that that doorway was put in after the fact. So this is the original doorway this one here and um, at some point they decided to board this one up and open up a doorway over there so like when you first came into the house and it was first built you had to walk like <laughs> <laughs> you had to walk like all the way from the front door all the way through the living room 
and then through this or into the kitchen and then all the way through the kitchen and then out this way to the outside which is kind of crazy <sighs> I was at work last night and when when I came in like I just it took me about 20 minutes of just walking around and just like taking it all in because it's just so crazy especially like this bit here was really getting me because it just makes like now that this whole doorway is gone it just makes this room feel like so tall and so spacious oh, it's so amazing it's so exciting but yeah I just wanted to show you what they've what they got up to on day one. That's end of day one progress. Um, and you want to see end of day one dirt? I'll show you end of day one dirt. <laughs> I really like the bricks. I feel like even if we weren't getting rid of the wall, I would have liked to just keep the bricks. So this is something else that we are deciding because we actually kind of like the bricks. And <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Do we want to turn this into an exposed brick wall? That's the, that's the idea. just right here now. It's massive. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. Like come stand here and look how far away the fridge is. Look how far away that cupboard is. It's huge. And then that's going to be coming down as well. Mm -hmm. Just come back from the shops. <laughs> the weirdest shop I've ever done because with the kitchen is obviously <laughs> pretty much unusable so we can't really uh, do anything proper so we've literally just got oven meals which we usually cook fresh every single night um, so our poops are going to be real funny in the next couple of days but I got us some pizzas very yummy I think I might have a pizza now actually for my lunch before I go to work I got this which looks very yummy chicken and tatties great and then this when I was at uni I literally lived off these things these like tortellini things so I got some of them and it has to be the tomato if you're not tomato mascarponeing with your tortellini then I 
I despair. I'm so tired. I've been, um, I've been working, not like nights, but like evening shifts this whole week, which has been really good because it means that I can be here during the day to like make decisions and stuff, like help the builders with anything that they need. Um, but. It is, uh, that works out is like a really long day. Like you wouldn't actually think that it would be that much. You wouldn't think it would actually be that much of anything. Like just sitting around at home and like just making random decisions here and there. But like it's actually really taxing. Um, and it's exhausting me a lot more than I thought. We're only on like day three. I've definitely got a couple more days to go. Um, but tonight is my last evening shift. Tomorrow I'm on a day shift, so. Maybe that'll be a bit easier. But today it's an electrician day. So the electricians are in. They've fitted us with some new light switches they're doing new sockets and they're doing moving the consumer unit and like upgrading some stuff for us so it all looks really good really pleased are you so sleepy so they go to take a nap very take a nap I'm pretty sure that I definitely do love these guys' work ethic. <laughs> but at the same time, it's so early. <gasps> Big stretch, wow. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. They ended up going for three massive walks yesterday. They ended up getting one, two, three, almost four hours of walking yesterday. Um, and you need a bath. You need a bath. You need a bath. You smell bad. And you feel like great. <laughs> You're fine, Mary, I guess. You don't need a bath. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely doesn't enjoy being washed, but he puts up with it because being dried is his favourite thing in the whole entire world.
Okay, so I just got back from work. It hit like over 30 degrees today. Um, and we've been having just torrential rain for like weeks up until this point. So I feel like nobody was prepared. We had like multiple ambulances has had to come out to work. Staff were passing out. It was a whole day. And I think that that is probably contributing to my feelings of being a bit overwhelmed because I've like come back home from that all day. And I'm just kind of now looking around and I'm like, there's a lot of mess. <laughs> There's so much that's not finished. I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but I, I need to just trust the process. I need to just trust the process because there's one more day. They're, they are here for another whole day. So everything's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna get resolved and fixed and it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be great. I just need to chill out. But even as I'm standing here convincing myself that everything's gonna be fine and I just need to chill out, I'm like looking out into the room and like, it looks so good like this was so the right decision this was the absolute right call this is going to completely change our existence in this house like it really is and I'm so I'm so happy and excited and grateful yeah roller coaster <laughs> hi okay um, now that we're a little bit further into the video, I feel like it's just kind of like the core group of us that are watching at this point. Um, so I just wanted to just take a second basically to explain where I've been, um, because I've taken a massive hiatus. I feel like this year has just been so many massive hiatuses, but I had just like a lot of crazy things going on in life. Um, yeah, like some things are just <clears throat> kind of out of your control. Um, and we were kind of having like a pretty hectic time even before the builders came. And then with the builders being there for that week, it was really hectic. Like I feel like I didn't really manage to, because the builders didn't really want to be filmed much, like I didn't really manage to actually film the really crazy like stuff that was going on um but it took us a really long time to actually recover from the builders being here which sounds ridiculous but it did because it was just very very intense um and just as we were kind of starting to recover uh my granny got diagnosed with cancer and passed away within a week of being diagnosed so it's all just been a bit turbulent um and i feel like we just didn't have a spare second for at least like a month and a half to like, I don't even know how long it's been like it has just been very like boom boom next thing next thing next thing like yeah for a while um and I just yeah I just I couldn't film like I just there was nothing going on at the house to film um for one and then for two like I just wasn't in a headspace um to like be creating and for three I didn't have time like you know it just it's just been an accumulation of things um but yeah I just wanted to say like I'm sorry that I haven't posted because like I do like to post every week and I do like to be like reliable and like a creator that you can rely on and um, so it's always there's always that like bit of guilt there when how you want to be doesn't match up with how you are being um but you guys are so like unbelievably um kind and understanding of like when i when i do take breaks and when i do step away for a bit um so i never ever feel like any pressure from you guys like you guys are so sweet and i really appreciate that um and i feel like that <clears throat> gives me like the the grace to figure out what is going on in life and stuff uh, yeah, okay, I'm blabbering on now. Um, I think that was everything that I wanted to say. Um, yeah, things are out the other end now of a crazy funnel. <laughs> um, funnel of pressure. But we're out the other end of that now and we're just coming to terms with everything um, and coming back to a sense of normality, both me and Lewis as well, because Lewis has had some stuff going on for him um, 
as well. It's just, it's just been a crazy time. Uh, yeah, it's just been a crazy time. Um, so yeah, we're coming back out of it. We're starting to relax a wee bit now. There, you know, a lot more is certain now. And yeah. I think that's everything I have to say. <laughs> okay. Um, back to the video. <laughs> Okay, the electrician has just been in gone, and this is what he found. Attaching the cooker. Yeah, the electrics of this house are just a little bit scary. Just a little bit scary, so it's all fine, but at least, like, you know, we haven't gone on fire yet, so it's gonna be totally fine. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, so we don't have the cooker. He's snipped that because it's just a bit too dangerous to use really. So that's snipped, so we're not gonna have the cooker until we actually like get the kitchen like ready and actually put the electric into it. So now, yeah, it's just cleaning. It's very dirty, but it's very cool. Yeah. Your barks are especially echoing now, crazy boy. Like in the viewfinder, I can see it. I can't believe it's actually done. Can you believe it's actually done? I mean, it's not done. <laughs> no, but the wall is done. The wall is, the done, wall yeah. is gone. It's amazing. We have completed the thing that we've been wanting to complete for a year. We, it's, oh, well, we didn't, but the builders did. <laughs> it's done. I can't believe it. I think we're gonna be in shock for a little bit of time. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Five days of intense builder action. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love you so much. Subscribe. See you next week. Bye. And then we also found out. <laughs>